Hello, my fellow Blackheads, and welcome to another episode of Minecadia! And yes, I am stuck full of arrows. <laughs> uh, as soon as I got into my house, coming up from the basement was a skeleton, and he turned me into a pincushion! Ooh, and luckily they're starting to come out, and we'll be good by the time we get over to where we're heading. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. All right, and today we are joined by me, just me, no one else. Yay! <laughs> and we started out today inside my house. It's still looking lovely as ever. Still gonna take time to get it all worked out, but we'll get there. Anyway, so we're actually gonna head back over to the shop area because I've been working on a little project and everything for actually moving the teleporter Ooh, killer cow, killer cow. Should get my helmet on. It's okay. Don't get me. Don't get me. Hiya! Whoa, yes. Okay. Oh, wait. I need to put. Okay. I, I definitely have to upgrade that and get a fire aspect on there so I can cook the meat as I catch it. Alright, so yeah, it was, the goal is to move the teleporter from up off the top of the hill there over to where I've been working and um, we still got a little more work we still have to um, expand the space a little more but I got the main part to hide that part to hide the other part but you'll see what I mean when we get over there all right let's get going hi piggy hi hi Whoop. Oh, did I get him I don't think I did but yeah I love this place this is the, the nether hub this allows you to get around all over the world really quick like, this is Blacky Chan's portal, which we need to put signs on these things so we know exactly which ones they go to. And this goes back to uh, Spawn, or where the main shop is and everyone's stores. And, like, literally right there. Center. North, south, east, west. <laughs> west. All right. So, anyway, um, I Billy's moving into her place. It's looking lovely. And she's gonna end up taking over the storage place. Well, I still got a bunch of stuff in this storage area, which I'm gonna possibly need my pickaxe back out of here. And anyway, um, don't need that right now either. But I'm gonna need a better place to store all my redstone stuff. So I went ahead and start working on the shop. You know, this little tiny, tiny shop, but really isn't tiny if you see. If you go in here, it's like a cute little shop. But, realistically, if you place a piece of redstone right here, it opens up, yeah. And if you head on down here, and I'm gonna press the button so it can close up back behind us. Well, there we go. And voila. And this is the shop and everything, and yes, there's a hole, I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, this is gonna be where allows me to store my redstone which I'll put signs on all these so everyone knows what all of them are but I'm gonna bring the teleporter here and I'm gonna put it down here in the second layer of the basement and I'm gonna keep pushing out here but as of right now this is actually a redstone flush stairs and I kinda hid it in the design of my floor but I need to figure out a way to actually get up and down from here. So I actually need one more button. Where did I put those buttons at? Buttons, 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 buttons. Okay, there's buttons. I need one more. So what I decided to do is I'm going to put a button right here. And I'm going to build a T flip flop to activate this. I was going to show you guys how to build the stairways. But it's pretty complicated. So gonna skip around that one <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put the input for a uniquely different T flip-flop so let's go ahead and get that started so here right here is the input for this so if I break this block right here it will actually close up the stairwell so it's all closed up no one can come down I can't get back up but that's the key. I can't get back up. So we need to be able to put an input into it. So what we're going to do is right here, we're going to build ourselves an input. So we're actually going to take, we have 
three uh, droppers, a comparator, a hopper, a button, some redstone, and some torches. This is gonna, well, actually we only need a couple of these things. So we're gonna build one dropper up, one dropper into this dropper, and then one dropper out, and a hopper right here. And that's pretty much it. And what's gonna happen is that button that I placed up, up top there, I got like a little uh, downward redstone. So there's redstone on top of this block. And when I press it, it will turn off this torch. And in doing so, the redstone on top of here will uh, unpower, turning this torch on. And then the redstone on top of here will depower, I mean power this and depower this redstone. Depowering this and powering this and putting power into this block that puts power into this dropper right here. And all we got to do to make this work is place a block inside, which I think I'm just going to use this one right here. And to test it out, we're going to place a button on the side here because we need, oh, I can't place it on this side because I place it there. It's going to, it is stuck down here. Okay. I'm going to place the button actually right here. So this should open it up and allowing us out. Oh wait, <laughs> silly Clark. There's one other thing I forgot to put in. The comparator. Because how's the power going to come out if there's no power? Yeah, duh. So we actually gonna have to move this back one more space. So let's do that right here and we need to put the comparator actually right next to this coming out right there okay there we go and let's get our building block back out we're gonna go there and actually what we can do now since we're doing it this way we can actually place this block so when this depowers this torch will power this block putting power into the dropper facing up and then this one this way and this one this way back into the one facing up and then they hop it right here okay now take two let's try this again and I'm gonna place again one block just one block into the, the dropper facing up and let's try this right here Uh, oh wait, that's right. Oh wait, no, 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 that should. Well, I guess that's true. That the power will not be efficient enough in this aspect. Let's try that way. There we go. All right, so we should be able to go back up. And let's try pressing the button, see if it closes it. They close it? Nope. So what I, I was fearing is true. The power has to go directly into here. So I got to figure out how to do that. So we're going to mix it up a little bit. Turn this around. And all we got to do is Let's try putting torch here and uh, ooh, 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 ooh. break this double stack block here. Because we got to make it work for what I'm using it for. So there we go. And actually, this can come down one more. And we're going to stair step it into that block. Like so. And this. Should be able to do it. So now the power is directly into this block. And let's try it out. Let's go up the stairs. Press the button. Voila! It worked! Oh, that actually opens up there too. <laughs> oh, silly. I did not think that would do that. Oh well. And now that allows us to get up and down from here and potentially out the top if we wanted to. 
That's awesome. And I will go ahead and close it up right here like so. And what we'll end up doing eventually is expanding out, punching out this wall. Punching out, punch, 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 punch. And that allow us to expand out. And I'm going to use more of these new blocks that we got in the last update. Oh, that looks so good. And I'm going to trim it out. And we're going to end up building the portal room right here. So let's head up here. Press this button one more time. Voila! That's so cool. Well, friends, if you enjoyed the episode, give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, any ideas that you have. And soon, after this, we'll be heading back to Redstone Valley because we can. And I'll see you then. Until next time, this is Clark. We'll see you later. Bye. See ya. Farewell. Bye-bye.